What's up, YouTube? Ah, here we are again with another fragrance review. This time, I'm gonna review. I'm gonna be reviewing a fragrance that comes from an independent perfume house located out in California. Um, it's not necessarily niche perfumes. Uh, they're indie perfumes, but the quality is niche quality in my opinion. Um, it's black owned. The perfumer, in my opinion, is he, he 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 says himself he's like he's not a perfumer, but he knows what smells good. Okay, and I got to agree with that. He's got a collection uh, that I haven't had got had the opportunity to get my nose on yet, but I do own both of the fragrances within his Black Label collection. Now the Black Label collection, um, it's got grapefruit vetiver which is a fragrance that is highly, highly masculine. It's uh, bold. Um, it's a fragrance that I enjoy, but we're not talking about that one in this video. In this video, we're talking about the second fragrance to drop in the Black Label collection. Um, it was the first fragrance that he made from start to finish with only his hands. Um, the notes have, uh, the notes contain uh, ginger, nutmeg, frankincense, sandalwood, Himalayan cedarwood. Um, and that's what you get there. Um, it creates an accord that, in my opinion, smells just like gingerbread cookies. Okay? Um, but it's not a deep gourmand scent. It's fresh. The fragrance... Ginger in the Woods by Kirk Elliott, okay? Ginger in the Woods, um, it comes in a 30 ml size. That's the only thing that I don't like about this fragrance, okay? Let me tell you right now, the absolute only thing that I do not like about this fragrance is that it does not come in a bigger size. I'm mad I couldn't buy more. Um, it's sold out right now, can't get any, he's making more. And of course, I'm gonna like beg and plead for him to make it in a bigger size for me. It's probably not, but I'm gonna beg because I would love to get a bigger bottle of this particular fragrance. Um, 30 mLs is not enough. I got halfway through this bottle after maybe a few, wearing it a few times. Um, I spray the hell out of this. I cover myself in it. It's fresh. It's sort of spicy. Like you get that incense mixed with the ginger nutmeg combination, so it smells just like freaking warm cookies. But at the same time, the sandalwood is not creamy. The sandalwood, it works with the Himalayan, with the Himalayan cedar as it dries to give it a, a woodiness, so ginger in the woods. It's a perfect wordplay on the way that this fragrance breaks down. But if I'm being totally honest with you, what I get in the top and what I really get from this fragrance and what like draws me back into it is the, um, the, the ginger and the nutmeg combination with the frankincense. I mean, it really, it really, it really to my nose brings in straight up gingerbread cookie vibes. It's a fresh type gourmand and that's what you're gonna feel, that's what you're gonna get, but it never gets warm. It never gets to the point where it's like, um, where it feels heavy. This is just, it's a light wearing fragrance. It's super fresh, uh, super delicious. Um, it gives me a confident vibe, masculine vibe. Uh, when I wear it, if I were to smell it on a woman, it would probably bring out a feminine vibe. Um, this fragrance is versatile. This fragrance to me doesn't need to be dressed up. It doesn't need to be a casual scent. You could wear this anytime anywhere the only time that i wouldn't suggest rocking out with this one is probably uh when it gets super cold outside maybe it doesn't work out in the cold i haven't worn this in a, in, in, in in really cold weather i've worn this in high heat i've worn this on moderate days um so i'm not sure exactly how it perform out in the cold but i gotta say for any other time of the year Easy reach. Um, if you enjoy gourmand scents, easy reach. If you like ginger, if you like nutmeg, easy reach. Um, 
Yeah, this fragrance to me promotes uh, high confidence levels. You smell delicious when you wear this. <laughs> no doubt about it. Um, and that was like a quick review of this because there isn't much left to say about it. Um, the fragrance is amazing. Um, if you enjoy those types of scents, like I said, a fresh gourmand, this is a, this is a fragrance for you. If you like to support black owned brands, this is the fragrance to check out. This is a, this is a perfume house to check out because he's got a bunch of other fragrances and I think it's called the Seasons Collection is his other collection. It's got Sensational, um, and more fragrances. I can't remember them off the top of my head, but Sensational is one that I know that there's some buzz out there and that's a, a dope fragrance. Um, Intentional, I think is the name of another fragrance in the Seasons Collection. He's got wonderful scents. Get your nose on them. Again, Ginger in the Woods by Kirk Elliott Fragrances. Um, the Kirk Elliott Experience. You can't go wrong, okay? You absolutely cannot go wrong with this fragrance. Highly recommended. Uh, get your nose on it if you can. Thank you for checking out this quick review. Uh, I will catch you in the next one. Peace out.